welcome everyone. Uh, this is our uh, uh, webinar. Uh, my name is uh, Giacomo from the Thai Italian Chamber of Commerce. And today we are the pleasure to uh, have a talk with uh, Mr. Eliseo Barbara from uh, uh, Most uh, 2414 and uh, uh, Mr. Tom Yu from uh, Lazar. Uh, Mr. Tom uh, is also the head of uh, business development and uh, head of uh, uh, Lazar Mall uh, Global. Uh, I see other people joining us, uh, so uh, now I can officially uh, give the word and the virtual stage to Mr. Eliseo, the managing director of uh, Most 2414. Eliseo. Okay, so thank you, Giacomo, and thank you, everybody here that uh, choose to uh, dedicate one hour of uh, their time to this uh, webinar. Uh, so before to introduce um, Tom, that uh, I hope it will be much more time than me because I think Lazara will be more, very interesting information to share with, uh, with us today. I would like just to share with you some of our recent experience as, uh, as a digital marketing especially on, uh, for the, uh, regarding the e-commerce. So for our experience as a little agency, it's that e-commerce, it's, uh, it's very hard. It's very complicated and can be sometimes quite difficult to manage, to understand, to manage and to operate. But uh, for what we understand, luckily, uh, there are great players uh, in the business. So there are many players. There is an ecosystem out there and uh, that is made by different kind of uh, companies that uh, they can have the right solution for any challenge that uh, a brand might have. So this ecosystem is also moving very fast and there are new technology, there are new platform, there is a new customer's behavior and, and so there is a new players that join this, uh, uh, this ecosystem. Um, need to be fast show need to be fast need to be flexible and um, our opinion is that they need to build uh, relationships um, between the players that they involve in this uh, ecosystem so actually uh, we are digital marketing agency we provide much more digital strategy social media content creation and online ads and since 2019 uh, we start a new service line focus on uh, on e-commerce. Uh, it was initiated at the beginning to help international brands, Spain, from different uh, um, from different uh, um, kind of uh, industry. And the idea of the brand and also us actually it was quite uh, quite the same and quite uh, linear. So I'm a, I'm a brand. Uh, I know very well my my product. I want to enter in the Thai market, in our case, uh, for many reasons. Uh, you know, the brand wants to, to scale uh, internationally or they think the product can work uh, here in, uh, in Thailand. And maybe after Thailand, it will be possible to do uh, expand in other Southeast Asian countries or even more. But uh, they cannot find easily a distributor, the classic distributor. So the idea was, okay, now e-commerce, it seems trendy, is, uh, is working. In Thailand, it seems quite uh, not new, it's, uh, it's booming too. So e-commerce could be easy, it can solve uh, our problems too. Uh, in Thailand, there is already a lot of uh, online shopper. Online e-commerce has a good uh, penetration in the market too. And uh, let's go. Uh, but uh, we realized it was not easy. It was not easy at all for the client and also for, uh, for us. It was not easy for like uh, it was uh, expected. So the first challenge was the classic challenge. So um, like any brand they can, they can have when they import the product here. Mm -hmm. So the custom clearance, the shipping, the distribution, what are the big issues? But also when the product was here in Thailand, uh, it was difficult to understand who is the right channel to sell online. Uh, where, is my, where is my customer, uh, who is my buyer persona, uh, how can reach, how can contact him, how can reach them, how can I communicate my product and uh, what they're doing, my competitor too. So uh, as a most 414, our job right now is to give an answer 
to this, uh, to those questions and possibly uh, transform from uh, answer to, to action. So with this goal in mind, so to give an uh, answer to our customer and uh, transform them in action in the e-commerce ecosystem, we understood that uh, our way was to build relationship and, uh, and partnership with uh, different e-commerce players, uh, like a warehouse, the delivery companies, uh, distributors, retailers, uh, some marketing technology tools, and of course, uh, the marketplace. The, in Thailand, is a in marketplace need to be known very, very well, and other online sales channels, all for the benefit of our, uh, of our, our client. So each of the brand actually, I think they have uh, for sure different strategy, uh, different challenges and different uh, opportunities. And uh, talking about the retail in a different industry, um, omni-channel is, uh, is uh, something to have uh, to, to totally, totally consider. So um, the customer can be anywhere and the customer, the buyer journey is really uh, unpredictable. Technology they can give you in terms of marketing and advertising some predictable tool, but I think it's just a little bit. So mostly the customer journey is very unpredictable. You can reach your customer, for example, in one platform, you do some Facebook ads. Um, you want maybe to drive traffic on your brand.com, on your website or in some other uh, offline, maybe in drive to store offline. But uh, at the end, uh, the customer, uh, you know, can complete the purchase, for example, on Lazada. Uh, and maybe buy, you know, in the official store of, uh, of the brand, but in the reseller. So as an agency, actually, um, it was crucial for us to learn and to understand very well each platform. Uh, their customer base, their uh, customer's behavior, and the other competitors, the back end of the platform, and uh, analyze very well those uh, platform and uh, understand how they can work um, for our clients. So this is why we start to build this uh, and, uh, partnership and, and, uh, and networking actually with, uh, between us like uh, enabler as an agency brand and our um, and, and the partner upside there. So in one year we build our our networking and then actually we are still uh, building up because I say is a is a is an ecosystem that is changing very very fast. Uh, new players that are coming anytime. And then uh, unluckily and uh, let's say also as an happy problem uh, COVID arrived um, and like you know um, E-commerce, it's, uh, it's changed a lot. It's booming more than before. And we got a lot of requests in design. Just to give you an idea in our small numbers that uh, compare the request about e-commerce marketing that we received in the last semester of 2019. And this uh, first semester, we increased 280% in terms of request. And uh, most of them is a SME and also global brand. 90% uh, of these requests anyway they ask what we can do in terms of a store operation, e-store operation in the main marketplace. They mean um, Shopee and Lazada. This is the first priority. Then any of the brand is, uh, like I said before, they have uh, an omnichannel strategy, most of them, or they want to understand how it can be a really and effective uh, omnichannel. So there is the social commerce on Facebook shops right now, on the line shopping, or they have the store, a brick and mortar, or they have the brand, the brand.com. So this is the omnichannel, but the 90% every time is uh, Shopee and, uh, and Lazada. So like I say, we need our agency, uh, we need to build partnership and relationship for the benefit of our client, and then we hope for their customers too. So um, between this partnership, since, uh, since the last, uh, last December, actually, we joined Lazada Service Marketplace. So the Lazada Service Marketplace is, um, is a selection of uh, experts and, and companies that uh, Lazada give to the Lazada sellers. 
for example, they can, and you can have a listed companies like us in the middle that they can help sellers to generate traffic acquisition in their store or to make a design on the store. Uh, they, other company, they can provide fully customer service, uh, phone and chat, without ma management technology and, uh, and so on. And there is a selection done by Lazada for the Lazada service. And I think it's a great service, especially for the uh, SME sellers. It's quite, uh, quite good. So this is just an overview of uh, what, uh, what we are doing right now. And uh, our bottom line, our message is uh, just uh, for brands that uh, maybe they are starting to enter in the e-commerce in Thailand is uh, to don't think to do everything by, by themselves. So outside, there are many, uh, many players can be the leader uh, and the other players that really can help any brand to do a success in their business. So of course, uh, and we are lucky to have today, Tom Yu today, uh, Lazada is a, a marketplace that need to be known and, uh, and considered. So this is a, a good opportunity to have uh, Tom Yu that is ahead of uh, Lasmo Global, like uh, Giacomo Alvance before, and also VP and the head of business uh, development. Um, we are talking before, uh, before this uh, webinar started with Tom. So Tom has a very good experience also uh, before in a Procter & Gamble and before in Toshiba. So Tom, I see the presentation is ready. Um, thanks again for accepting uh, my invitation to join this webinar. And I give you the floor to, to you. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Um, thank you for having me here. So, uh, yeah, today I, I will go through you uh, in three parts. One is about the, the e-commerce opportunity in, in, in Thailand or also in Southeast Asia. Uh, part two will be the introduction of Lazada. How Lazada doing? How many BUs we have inside? How um, the, the each pillar of the e-commerce fundamentals uh, that, that, that we have to, you know, serve all the consumer and so to the sellers. And the last one would be last mall. Last mall, it's um, um, the concept. It's the, our brand at your fingertips, or like sometimes we call the largest uh, shopping mall in, in 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 the regions, right? So it will be three parts, and uh, yeah, hope you enjoy. We will, I will it will take about like twenty to thirty minutes to walk you through all the introductions, and um, yeah, if you have any questions, you can note in the chat, right? And then and then I answer you uh, after the the, the our presentation, okay? Okay, so first, um, yeah, the topic will be Southeast Asia Frontier, right, Lazada, and also last mall. So I'm in terms of Southeast Asia, you see here that like Southeast Asia is like one of the, the, the fastest growing, right, in terms of the, um, the, the, the economic and, and also of the, the internet economy, right? And then this is by the regions that we see. Uh, okay, I start from the left-hand side, you will see that the, the size of the e-commerce in orange, in like um, 2015 is still very small, but now we up to like around 39 like billions in Southeast Asia. And then we foresee that in five years, we go even five times of like uh, what we're having right now, right? And um, in, in, in Southeast Asia, you see based on the, the population that Indonesia is the highest. So that's why Indonesia have the, the, the highest potential. While like Thailand, uh, we are expect to be around like almost six times versus right now, especially after the COVID situation that's happened, it's more like catalyst to, you know, um, to accelerate the growth of the, the, the whole e-commerce in, in Southeast Asia. And in terms of the, 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 the internet penetration and also the, 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 the online the social media in each country, right? So um, Thailand, it's actually almost number one in terms of internet penetration and the mobile penetration is just like right behind Singapore. Right, you see that Singapore is like quite developed, right? And uh, the, the country is pretty small, but the internet penetration can go up to like 64 uh, 8, 84%, but Thailand is like very, very like close to like 82%, right? It's mean like uh, for e-commerce, Thailand would be the market that actually easy to, to, to enter because like you see that people already have mobile in their hands, right? And they also like use the internet, right? So, so it's very easy to use. And in terms of the social media, actually Thailand, Thai people, they use almost every way. Right, but uh, line uh, still is uh, is the number one that they use the most, and then uh, come after with Facebook, right? And then lately it's become Instagram, but I think it's a different uh, customer segment. Okay. 
And then, yes, as I mentioned, uh, the, the COVID situation is impact across uh, Southeast Asia, right? And, uh, but it's helped in terms of the, the, the acceleration of the, 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 the sellers and brand, like digitalization, they have to come to the platform. And in the past, like three to four months, uh, you see, uh, we, we see a lot of high number of sellers who get to the platform and even number of the traffic that get to the platform is a lot higher, right? And, um, and also like, we need to ensure that the logistics can operate as usual. Like in some country, they have to lock down the whole country. Like give you example of Philippines, right? In, in, I think in March and April, they, they, they have to shut down the whole country and logistics have to stop. But lucky that Thailand, uh, we don't have such issue on that, okay? And then in, in, in Lazada, we operate in six country, right? So we have in Thailand, Vietnam, Malaysia, Singapore, and the Philippines, okay? We have monthly active user around 60 million. In the, in the whole Southeast Asia regions. But for Thailand alone, we have around uh, 17 to 18 million a month uh, users that get to the platform. And then on a daily basis, actually last year, we were around like 2.8 to 3 million people uh, get to our platform every day, right? But uh, as you know, as I mentioned earlier, the COVID situation make that the, the DAU, our daily active user now, we more than 4 million every day. So you see that they improved by around like 40, uh, 30 to 40%. Right. And even lately, we have a Lazada birthday campaign, right, in, in, in end of March, and um, the number spiked up to almost 9 million, which consider about like 12 to 13 percent of the Thailand population, which is quite a huge number, and a, it's a quite a new milestone for, for Lazada, okay? And um, because we are a platform, we, yes, we have organic, as I just mentioned earlier, but uh, we need to also communicate and also engage with the consumer uh, through the social media. So that's why we also have the channels to communicate. We are line Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, right? And we have quite a good number, especially online on YouTube with more than 20 million, uh, 20 million uh, followers. So when we have some activities or like brand launch with like some new brand that get to the platform, we can leverage uh, the social media that us that I have to, you know, communicate and educate uh, and, you know, get awareness from the, from the consumer about your um, presence on, 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 on Lazada. And then the last one is to share you the, the customer behavior that they change from like, actually even before like 2015, I would say half, half of people, they, they, they shop online in a, a laptop and also part in, in mobile. But now they like more than, actually more than 90% already that people like purchase products on the mobile phone, okay? And then uh, our mission is to accelerate progress in Southeast Asia through the commerce and technology that we have, right? And then we would like to serve more than 300 million uh, customers across Southeast Asia, okay? And then create like a lot of jobs for uh, the, the whole e-commerce ecosystem, okay? And then in, in, in the platform, right, we have three main uh, BUs that you can see. Uh, start from the local marketplace, right? This is like, like a C2C business, okay? So in this business, the the, 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 the business term is 0% commission, okay? We don't charge any commission on the Lazada local marketplace, but we charge only 2% for the payment fee, right? And then for the logistic fee, it's, uh, it depends on the way, it depends on the destination of the, of, of the end consumer. Right? The second one is last more. It's a, it's a main topic that we talk today because you guys are a brands, right? And last more is a BU for B2C business, okay? So uh, we charge the commission up to 5%, Okay, payment term is the same at two percent, and delivery fee is the is, is depends, right? So of course, like nobody want to pay anything for free, right? It's just that you are last month, and then you have to pay five percent for free. So uh, I will I will walk you through what the benefit of being last month and why the 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 five percent of the commission is justified itself. Okay, and the third one is a global collection, right? It's basically the cross border business, right? So we ship products from uh, many places in the world, but right now we start from four country. So we have China, we have Hong Kong, uh, we have Taiwan, uh, Korea, and Japan, okay, at the moment. And then we, we, we would like to expand to other countries. Unfortunately, we haven't started in Europe yet, but um, in, in, in our mother company, Alibaba, uh, we have what we call Tmall Global, and Tmall Global start doing like a shipping product directly from, from Europe already. So uh, once like we can scale up in the, in the cross-border business, of course, we can ship product directly from uh, many, I mean like everywhere in the world, okay? And uh, in terms of the contribution of the uh, uh, order volume, this is spread on order. So you may be a little bit surprised why electronic is a little bit low. But if you think about the GME contribution, electronics much more bigger, right? So this is just talk about purely volume. And you will see that MVG is one of the biggest at 31%, okay? And within this 31%, uh, mainly is from groceries, 
and another separate category that we like put it out, it's mother and baby. So mother and baby is one of the largest um, category that we have under the FCDG, okay? And then the rest, as you can see, it's fashions and then like general merchandise. General merchandise means uh, it's a combination of like home and living, uh, sport and outdoor, uh, medias and books, and uh, motor, right? Motor is like automotive related products, okay? So um, in terms of the fundamentals of e-commerce, right? So we are the middle guys, right? We are the platform. So we have like Lazada, last more global collection, as I mentioned, right? And then we, we, we engage, uh, link you between us, you are sellers uh, to the buyer, okay? And in order to do that, we have three main pillars. The one, number one is the technology that we serve to you. So we are the platform. We have to ensure that the platform it works stably, right? And then we serve you the technology that 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 can unlock and can enable you, your, 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 your business better. And then the second one is our logistic, okay? That we can make sure that the product can deliver to our uh, end consumer. Right? And the last one is payment. When three, three, three uh, main pillar link together, it's become uh, what we are doing right now, right? So in terms of technology, uh, uh, as you may know, that um, three years ago, Alibaba acquired the, the Lazada group, right? And now we are part of Alibaba family. So uh, we leveraged the, the Alibaba global platform uh, technology, like the backend system that uh, they were using in Taobao and Timo in China. So uh, basically, we have uh, much better in terms of the, the stability of the, uh, the, the, the platform, the backend system, right? And then um, you can imagine the traffic that we can handle, right? If, if we can know billions of people and users in China, in Thailand, or even Southeast Asia as a whole. It, it's, it's much smaller versus like uh, what, what Alibaba is doing in China right now, right? So in terms of the system right now, we are quite advanced versus our competitors. You can you can see when we have the mega campaign, like for example, 11-11 uh, or 12-12, that we hold it every year, right? Uh, our platform never, never like uh, turned down or broken or anything. While our like competitors sometimes they are pretty slow or even like crash. Right, and then and then have some technical issue, but we are lucky that we have Alibaba to support us on this. Okay, and once you become a seller on the platform, then you have the access to what we call the seller centers, right? So the seller center we provide you all the data real time, so you can track from uh, the shop level that you have, right, the SKU level even, so you know that like how your uh, shop or your account, your brand is performing. Right, you can analyze down to in almost every angle from the, the revenue generated from the average order, right? From uh, the conversion rate, right? So, and the traffic, how many people visit your shop, something like that. So, by seeing this, you can analyze your, your, your activity on online better. And, and, and even like when you work with, you know, enabler like uh, how, uh, what uh, uh, ECO is doing, right? So you, you can work together and look through the, the number together so you know like uh, what is the opportunity that you're lacking, right? And also, hello, if someone would like to speak? Okay. And then so you can see like what is a lacking like for and, and e-commerce is pretty, pretty straightforward right so we have the formula of the revenue equal to the traffic multiplied by uh the conversion rate and multiplied by the, the average value order so this thing multiply together it become the revenue so if you want to drive like i don't know a million baht in one day so you know how many how much traffic you need to drive to the platform something like that so you know okay by this number of traffic how will you do it Maybe you drive from Facebook, you drive from Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, whatever. Uh, to get to that number. And then you can rank and you see that uh, which product that consumer uh, react with the most or interact with the most. Right? You can rank by like which one have the highest on conversion rate. Highest conversion rate means like 100 of people see how many percent of them uh, convert to, 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 to the revenue to you, right? So most likely the one that have high conversion rate is mean the one that people interact the most and people interested into that, right? So you should feature that product, that kind of things that um, you can see in this service center, right? And all the data is live for you real time, okay? The next one is in terms of the logistic. Um, in, in Lazada, right, our logistic, um, it's a, it's a closed system, okay? So um, once the order comes, what you need to do is you print out the order uh, paper, you put on the parcels, 
and then you go to the drop off point right that lazada partner with a lot of like the drop off we have more than 2000 drop off across the country so it's very very convenient for you or if you are last mall sellers you can like call for lazada express to pick the products from your warehouse right so it's pretty simple and then lazada take care of the rest for you right the system it's pretty much different from our competitors so our competitors you can select of which uh provider that you would like to use right and then you have to starting from like which one you want to use and then how you're gonna like and and, and then consumer are forced to use uh, uh like specific uh carrier right pros and cons of it is first if it's lazada system we can cover 100 percent of the country because we take the parcel from you and then we allocate to the to the three uh, the, the third party logistic or even Lazada in how logistic to deliver the product for you, which one have the the, the fastest way to go or which one have uh, like cover in that area. We will we, we will do everything for you to make sure that the parcel arrive to the consumer uh, destination. Uh, yes. Hello. You have questions. Hello, Cab. Is someone have questions? Or maybe there was uh, maybe just some interaction, but uh, I don't know. Uh, someone oh, maybe accidentally okay. opened the microphone. No problem. Okay. Thank, you. Thank you, Tom. Sorry for the interruption. No, no, no worry. Okay, so uh, yes, back to um, the pros and cons between the closed system and open system. So the closed system, the good thing is we 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 take care of all the puzzles and then we deliver to the end consumer hundred percent of the area in Thailand. But if you are the open system. Right. So, for example, maybe a company can only cover 60 percent of the country, 30 and like B carrier can cover another 40 percent. So you have to choose between each of the, the carrier and sometimes it's a little bit complex and confused to the consumer. And sometimes it leads to, uh, I mean, like if like, for example, if you select a carrier and then a carrier is like super packed right now and a lot of volume get to them, they will end up delay of the delivery to the consumer so that the the, the the disadvantage of the of the open system but for the closed system once the order come let's pick up the product from you right we get to the what we call the the sourcing center the sourcing center we analyze that in this destination which carrier are more available which carrier is about to go out to deliver already and then we shoot that to the to to you know uh, allocate that parcels to that consumer i, I know like to that carrier so carrier can carry that to the end consumer like the fastest way possible Right, so that's the good things about the closed system. And how we do is we do as a closed system, okay? And then uh, we have a uh, most competitive rate card into our delivery fee. Uh, so in, in, in Bangkok area, we start from only 20 baht, okay? And then in outside of Bangkok, it's probably around 40 baht, okay? Anywhere in, 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 in the country, okay? So that's the start of the rate card. You can see in uh, lazada.co.th to see uh, what the rate card um, is. And then the second service that we do for the logistic is, uh, we have uh, what we call fulfillment by Lazada. How it works is <clears throat> you have the options of store your product in Lazada warehouse and then we take care of the rest for you, right? So for example, if you are uh, you want to manage the, the, the shop, even by yourself or with the enabler like Elysio, you, you, you just like manage the front end, the credit your store, provide the best service to the consumer, chat, uh, give advice to the consumer, do promotion, right? And then you, 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 you leave uh, the rest, I mean like the, the logistic operation to, to Lazada. So you put all the products to our warehouse and then once the order comes, we take care of the rest for you, right? The benefit of it is it's very fast in our delivery because we have the operation operate like every day, right? Then once the order comes, we take care with, with in, in, if not right, about 45 minutes, the order is ready to go out, right? So it's super fast. And if the order come uh, before noon of that day, the consumer will receive the parcels like, be, like within the same day uh, in Bangkok area. So it's very fast to have the speed of delivery. Okay. The next, uh, sorry. The next one will be in payment. So we have all the, the payment way possible, right? So we have Lazada Wallet and then uh, our backend is from the, again, from the Alipay. Right, and then um, we have all the, the the way possible starting, you know, like credit card, right, cash on delivery over the counter on 7-Eleven, uh, bank transfer, ATM. So this is the, the best in class payment solution that we provide to all the Lazada uh, sellers, right? And the good thing about the payment that is that 
because Lazada have the, the highest number in terms of the, the, the user base, right? We have up to like 50 million user base. And you can imagine now, every time when you shop online, one of the, the constraints that you always have is you need to input the credit card numbers again, right? Or you have to think of like which payment way I should do, I should use, right? So it's very, it's, it's, it's a pain to do the consumer as well that every time I try a new website or new.com of my own, I need to fill the credit cards again. And because Lazada have the highest number of users, right? Because we already have many people like register. So they try or they have input the credit card before in the platform. So it's very like seamless for the consumer that, oh, okay, I just click, I see the new products that you guys just listen. Then they can just check out right away. It's much easier for them, okay? The next one is our like future that we want to aim to in three pillars. One is uh, localizations. Uh, you can see that in, in our platform, right? Everything is in Thai, most of them. And we also have the English version to serve Thai consumer better, right? The second one is our strength is a personalization. So we, we know like what consumer interact with which category, right? It's not, okay, I'm a man. When you get to the platform, I don't expect to see cosmetic products. And I never see cosmetic products because we see that oh, you interact with this kind of product before, it will recommend the, the, the similar product to meet your interest, okay? And the last one is in terms of the innovation, especially on the engagement, right? Uh, we start to do something that engage between sellers and buyers much better, like starting from games, right? You can like uh, feature your voucher in, or even like free gifts of your like trial products. So people play game and then they can, you know, uh, get the free gifts uh, in returns, right? Or even the live stream, right? The live stream is maybe you have questions like what a bit different between Lazada live stream and Facebook live stream, okay? So, um, in Facebook, when people see, watch it, of course they enjoy watching like people review about the products and stuff, but they cannot process right away. They still have to chat with the, with the admin of the page. Like, oh, I want to uh, buy this product, how can I pay? And then they have to, you know, uh, chit chat and then uh, giving back the bank uh, number, right? And consumer have to transfer the money, they, like many steps, right? But in, in Lazada, right, it's, uh, we have the button called the see now by now. So when you watch, you can press a button and you can check out right away, right? It's more seamless and very simple to the consumer. Okay, so um, next part, it's uh, last mall, right? It's uh, Southeast Asia, uh, number one marketplace for brands, right? As a concept, it's uh, all brand at your fingertips. We have a lot of, you know, premium brands and also the local brand, well-known brands in, in, in our platform, like Apple, Estee, PNG, Unilever, local brand like Zijan Sapat, right? So we, we have all of them here, right? And we have more than like 16,000 of brands, right? In, in last month, right? And, and it would say 60 of the 100 of the consumer brands, they're already in last month, okay? So it's, uh, it's, it's purely for brands, okay? And the difference between last month and Lazada Marketplace is number one, it have to be 100% under these cities. How we just define whether this is authentic or not. So once, uh, anyone register for the last mall, you have to submit the documents of you are either the the brand owners. If you are the brand owner, you have to submit uh, the, the trademark of your of your logo of your brands, right? If you're exclusive distributor, we request the, the 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 individual to submit the document of the 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 authorization letter from the brand principal, right? Or the last one, if you just only the non exclusive distributor, you just have the authorized to sales, but you're not the only person who can sell that in Thailand. Then we we, we give you the tag of the certifying stores. So in every angle, in every aspect, they have to be 100% under the CDs. And if like a consumer claim that this is fake products, we will penalize to the shop, right? So that's how we operate in the under the CDs. The second one is 15 day easy returns. Right, so this one, of course, maybe someone have the, some worries about like, hey, if I'm food products or if I'm like um, the personal care products, how can people return it? Of course, we have some policy around it. So it's unlike people like buy the snack and they open and eat it already, then they want to return. That's not possible unless the products already like expired and then like the seller send the wrong one to the consumer. Of course, consumer have the right to return. So you can redraw the policy later. Right. And the last one is we encourage the brand to, uh, to provide the best in class uh, services to the consumer. So we, we encourage them to, you know, uh, have the next day and delivery. Okay. So once uh, they become the last mall sellers, then you have the privilege to get the last mall tag, right? Starting from the shop, uh, 
like uh, banners here, right? Even the SKU levels, you will have the last more tag. And even in the search result, they will have last more tag to distinguish you from the normal sellers. So people have more confidence and eventually it's increasing over the CR percent that like, oh, the last more tend to have like higher CR versus the, the normal like um, C2C sellers, okay? Into other benefit of last mall, I would like to uh, split in three angles. So the first one is higher visibility, improve the findability, it's easy to, easier to find. And the last one, exclusive campaign and services that we provide to the last mall sellers. Uh, in terms of visibility, we have a dedicated brand channels for, for last mall. It, it's like you get to central, you get to the mall, emporium, and quartier. So everything here is authentic, right? It's come from brands only, okay? So it's more confident to the consumer when they get to this environment of the platform. Okay. And then we have a lot of entry points uh, for last mall, starting from the banners here. If it's uh, an individual brand, it's only reserved for last mall, right? And we have an entry point here, the red button. And also we have the personalized to recommend the last mall products here, okay? In terms of the search, why the search is important? More than 30, 30 actually almost 40% of the platform uh, revenue is come from search. Imagine. I think people uh, happen the same that when you want to buy something, you get to the platform and then you search for something you're looking for, right? So that's why search is very important, okay? And uh, if you are the official store or you are the, 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 the brand, right? People search your brand name. We will have either the drop down suggestion like this that, hey, you're looking for Xiaomi, we have the Xiaomi official store for you. So when they click, they get to your store, right? Or if they search for the name, like in this case, Royal, then we have the search banner. Like, hey, you're looking for a real brand, we have it for you, right? Something like that. Or we even have the tools, what we call seller picks, to boost the traffic specifically to your SKU. So you can select six high-lined um, SKUs in your shop to be able to get a boost that to be more visible to the consumer when they search for your product, okay? The last one is the, the aggressive campaign. So uh, we, we, we do something called butter program. So uh, when you get onboarded, then you can trade your media, like especially your traffic. Of course, you have your own Facebook account, you have your own Facebook channels, Instagram, whatsoever, right? And also even offline asset, right? You can trade that to, you know, to promote your shop on Lazada. And of course, because you are to promote your shop in Lazada, Lazada will give something back to you in return. And the example is how we do with a lot of like brands like this, like this is example of the beauty products. Right, and this is how we do with the fashion brands, right? And the things that we can give to you is start from even like top banners, right? The category banners, app hoods, social media posts, there's a lot of things, right? So so once you're interested to get on board and get to get um, the activity like this, like a brand, grand openings, or like new initiative, you can you can connect to the key account and then um, they will work internally together with you to, to, to get the best plan uh, for, your, for your brands, okay? Next one is the, the marketing solution services. So we do have what we call marketing solution is the team to, to guide you how you, how you like um, drive the traffic uh, more like strategically and wisely, how, how it works. Because like when, when, when you get to sell anywhere, right, even offline world, you, you, you have to invest on the marketing, right? And, and maybe sometimes you don't know what, like what you should invest. Maybe people just like, okay, I just fully invest on the social media. Right. But sometimes you also have to think of like what other thing you can you can invest like and, and then marketing solution team will give you the guidance of what would be the best way for you to maximize your the marketing budget on this. Right. And uh, the last one, it's when you become the last more sellers, the expectation that we would like to request to the brand. They're very straightforward. Right. So start from the good services, like you have to chat back, you have to regularly like have some posts and update about your brand, right? To get people to engage and know about your brands, like what's going on. It's not just like you create the, 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 the shop and then you leave it there, right? It's not gonna be like that. It's similar to offline world, nothing different. Like you have the shop and then you do nothing about it. Yes, of course, you have some organic traffic, get to your store, but it's gonna be very minimal, right? So you have to do some engagement, do some promoting about your shop as well. Right. And then the second one is you have to decorate your store because it's a representative of the brand or your brands. You have to make sure that it's look beautiful and look nice, right? And then, um, yeah, put your assortment that you have the best you can, right? And then um, you should also regularly drive traffic to your shop, 
right? And then the last one is, um, as you know, right, when we have a big campaign, right, the, the revenue go up like quite significantly, rapidly, like sometimes go to uh, 10 times, 20 times. So yeah, join the campaign and then yeah, get to, um, to, to, to the visibility that Lazada will provide to you. Okay, that is all from me. Uh, kindly let me know if you have any questions. Uh, thank you for your time and your attention. Okay, thank you, Tom. Um, I see, Giacomo, I see there is a couple of uh, questions. Before joining to that question, can I ask you a couple of questions to, to Tom? Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, we, we can do this. Uh, since, uh, Elisa, we are also uh, the moderator and speaker guest of today, uh, please go ahead and then we will read the two questions. One is from uh, uh, Davide of G4 and the other one is from Kun Kamara. But please, Eliseo, uh, you can go first. Okay. Uh, thank you, Tom. So I have the first question. It's, uh, uh, it's about the fulfillment. It's uh, the call FBL, mm -hmm. fulfillment by Lazada. Mm -hmm. I would like to ask you if you can just shortly introduce for people they don't know okay. uh, what is the benefit and of, of a fulfillment by Lazada, what is the criteria to join, and eventually what is the cost? Okay, so, um, start from how it works. So how it works is, um, once you, like on Lazada, right, you create a product, and last thing you need to do is you input the number of stock, right? You don't need to do that, you just like leave it blank or zero, right? And then you create what it's called like in the, the inbound sheet, right, in, in seller center still. Right. And then you book the time and then you get to our warehouse. Our warehouse is in Bang Na, right? It's not, it's still within Bangkok. So you travel to Bang Na based on the time that you book, right? You inbound the products. The warehouse team will count your products and everything and then they inbound the products, right? And then once the order come, FBL system will cut the products from your inventory, right? From whatever you inbound in. Right, and then, and then um, we will take care of the rest, right? So we pick up the products, put it in the box. It's, you don't need to pay extra cost on the box. And then we deliver the product. So the, 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 the most benefits of them is first, it's very, um, it's very fast, right? Because we have the operation team ready in place. And, and especially like in some brand that they just start, right? Sometimes they cannot handle the volume, especially on the mega campaign that volume can go spike up 10 to 20 times, as you just mentioned, right? So sometimes like the brand on a daily basis, they just do on their own. And then they can expect their volume uplift during the mega campaign can go really hugely spike. So they inbound the product just for that case. That was like some brands also do that, right? And uh, the speed, as I mentioned earlier, it's like within Bangkok, it's one day you will get product for sure. But if it's outside of Bangkok in average, it's only like less than three days. So it's pretty fast in you know, speed of delivery, right? And then um, the cost. So it's very based on the, the size of the product, right? The cheapest one, it's smaller than 25 centimeter, the, long, the, the longest side, right? If you're interested, I can show you the deck later. Um, we start from the, 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 the starting cost, it's like six baht, okay? And then if you have one product, it will be 12 baht. So, one one is for the start of the order, six baht, and then in that order have one unit, it will be 12 baht. And then if that one order have two units, it's gonna be 18 baht, okay? So that's how it works, if it is smallest size, okay? So that okay. the cost, so basically per unit, I would say it's about 10 to 12 baht in average, because people tend to buy roughly around like two something units per order anyway. Okay, and the criteria? And then, Sorry, the criteria, we don't have the minimum criteria, but just that if you, if you put too few inventory right in the warehouse, it will be the issue on your side that you have to go inbound the products more frequently, right? It's going to be the cost on your side that you have to deliver the product from your warehouse to, the, to our warehouse. That's the that, that only thing, but we don't have criteria of like, you cannot inbound if it's too few or anything. And our warehouse is super huge. You can, we, we don't have any issue of like, you know, getting too many products and we can hand, cannot handle. Okay, that's good. Then um, there will be some questions about what if products broken or the product got stolen while it's stored in the warehouse. We will pay back based on the the average price of that product in the past, uh, if I'm not wrong, 30 days. Mm -hmm. I need to check later, but if I'm not wrong, it's 30 days. If, the, if, if nothing changed on this. So for example, if your product is 100 baht full price, and in the past 30 days, you sell maybe in average like 
sometimes you sell 80 baht, sometimes you sell 100 baht full price, sometimes you sell 90 baht, but the average it's let's say 90 baht, then we will pay back to you at 90 baht price. And then we cut the commission fee, we cut the payment fee, similar to Lazada, buy the products from the platform back to you. Oh, got it. And it's possible also for the return, if some uh, customer yes. wants to return. Yes. So, uh, but if the product have no movement, I think one to three months, I'm not wrong. I mean, like if you inbound the product quite a lot, and then in, I'm not wrong, one or three months, it's not moving at all, we will charge you the storage fee, right? Based on the, 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 like the size of your product, right? But if your product at least have the movement, we will not charge you for the storage fee. Okay. Thank you. Another question is about uh, marketing. So like you say, totally agree. Uh, when you have the store, you have to invest in marketing. You maybe only organic or paid, it depends on, uh, from, from, from the brand, to drive yeah. traffic, right? And uh, how possible to see the source of this uh, traffic and then uh, analyze this uh, source, the conversion rate, and then optimize the next campaign. Because for what you say, for what, if I understand well, there is a marketing solution for last mall, similar, but not for the normal seller, right? Um, actually, in, in, in Seller Center, you can see uh, some traffic source already of where it's come from, right? But if the traffic, but mostly it's for internal traffic, but if you want to track the exactly. traffic from external, you can track, it's what we call an SP, right? And it's a, it's a service only provide for the last mall sellers, right? Okay. So what we call is marketing solution portal. How it works is we, it will generate the, the unique tagging Right. You put that tagging in each of your like posts that you want to boost on your apps, right? And, and we track the performance of like how many people click in, how many people add to cart of the products, which product they receive the most, how many GMV eventually generated from that link. Right. Okay. So how so how most of the people do is like they create like different apps, right? Maybe I give you like very easy example. I put one in Facebook, 1,000 baht in Facebook, I put link A. I put 1,000 baht in Instagram, I put link B. I put another 1,000 baht in Twitter, I put link C. Make it past one week, I come back and see, oh, <coughs> in Facebook, generate 10K. Instagram, generate 500 baht. In, Insta, uh, Twitter, generate nothing. Then I know that oh, next week, I don't need to invest anything on Twitter. I should focus on Facebook because it's generate more GMV for me, something like that. Okay, so this one is available on marketing solution on last yeah. mode. Yeah, okay. correct. Okay, and then the last two before we try to the other one is the COD. I mean, how is manage the, the cash on delivery in terms of payment timing? Okay, so and, um, and, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, no, you, 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 you finish your questions. No, the second question is totally different. It is about the shopper containment. What is it? Uh, and, yes, that's it. Okay. Sure. So uh, COD, it is one of the, the, the payment method, right? And uh, cash on delivery, it actually quite, it's still the most famous one. It was even like 80 to 90% before, but now it's down to around 70% because of a lot of credit card companies that try to, you know, eat up their proportion on the online business. And um, cash on delivery is still huge. And how it operates is, um, yes, we receive the parcel from you. We deliver the product to the end consumer consumer pay to the postman, to the delivery man. Delivery man get the money, pass the postal to the consumer. That's it. And then that's called the order already uh, delivered, right? And in payment term, regardless of cash on delivery, credit card whatsoever, the delivered orders of Monday to Sunday, we make payment for you on the next Monday. That's it. And then you get the money, to your bank account before Wednesday. That's a payment term. We transfer every week. Okay. And the last question for my side is about the shopper entertainment feature that are available on Lazada. Mm -hmm. uh, the shopper entertainment, um, there's a combination of many things. Like it's a shopping entertainment. So uh, as I mentioned earlier, we have like games that people can, can come to, you know, uh, browsing and playing to have engagement and then in return we want to get that benefit back to the brands so the brand can feature the products even like trial like if it's skincare maybe sometimes they give the trial sachet or with snack they give like small size as a free gift 
to the consumer when they play a game as a reward for them. Or sometimes it can be um, the, the, the voucher for them to purchase uh, through, through the platform later. Or even we have some game called Slatted. It's more like to get awareness from the brands. Like for, for example, the brand maybe get like 10 quota of the products and then like when people share to their friends and maybe friend maybe slats the price and then it's go down to like super deep price can be 50% off. But maybe it's not make profit to the brand, but the brand get awareness from that. Oh, people will slats the price and then they have to send out, right, to, 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 to get the awareness from you. Right? And then another thing is a live stream. So live stream is a, it's a very good place for you to review your products, and especially if you are if your product are new, premium, and very unique, right? So live stream is the place. So you can review the products, talk about things, what a feature, what a differentiation between you and other competitors, right? And then you can give them like flat voucher, a spatial view during the live only, right? And then it will have the pop up like for example if it's in the platform it will like pop up here like oh we are talking about these products and consumer can just click here and then they can check out so like they can check out within two to three clicks only it's not like facebook live that they don't have best features so people still need to chat to the admin as i mentioned earlier right uh, for the bank account transfer and the consumer even hesitate to transfer because they make the purchase already and they have to wait the product that they don't even sure it will be delivered to them Right, but in this case, they click check out the products and they know already the Lazada will guarantee that the seller will not get the money and they will product the deliver. Right, so it's more confidence to the consumer. Okay, good. I think now we have a two questions from the participants. So the first one from uh, Davide Francesco Contusalis uh, from G4, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, yeah, he's the sales and uh, marketing manager of G4. Okay, G4 is a um, food uh, beverage wine, basically wine uh, distributor. And mm -hmm. he asks, uh, good afternoon, why Lazada do not sell alcohol product, at least in Thailand? Why, la uh, which one, let me see. Okay, can you repeat your questions again? I cannot see the question. Why Lazada do not, don't sell alcohol products? Okay, so um, the reason it's very, uh, actually is quite simple. Uh, because the, the, the government not allow yet. <laughs> we try to work on that. And, and, and the lesson being is that we have to have the restriction to or even like to ensure that the consumer that really purchase is not, is not the, 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 you know, the, the young age, uh, like, uh, persons, right? It is as, as simple as that, but, uh, we are trying to work out because like there are some company that pilot on this, uh, together with the government, because, we are we're quite big, like we are the largest platform. So uh, when, when we do things like this, we have to ensure in, in, in many angles that uh, they will not impact us, uh, the total like communities, right? And the two to, to the Thailand communities that mm -hmm. it, will, it will, well, our like, you know, child and children and stuff. So um, we are working closely with the governments and, and, and basically the, the roadblock right now is more about the logistic that we have to ensure that when we deliver the product, it's really delivered to someone who are eligible to buy the alcohol, really. And it's not like uh, the, the children or something that get the products. Uh, yeah, so, so, so that's the reason why. Okay, uh, one more question, Kun Kamara. Uh, in the last five years, why market share of Shopee continue increasing? What is the better point of Shopee compared to Lazada? And uh, how Lazada slow it? Oh, I think that's very, it, it, it's a common question so it's it been asked like every, every, <laughs> every time they get to the press like this. So um, yeah, in the past five years, I would say Shopee did just start for I think around five to six years. So yes, uh, they're increasing every, every uh, year. And, and it's not that Lazada not growing. We're also growing quite significantly as well um, in, in, in line with them. So yeah, I think I think we play a role in um, different segment. Lazada, we we established before them about three to four years. So um, we have bigger user base, right? And um, and then we we can also, if you think of the consumer as a pyramid, Lazada eat up from the base of the pyramid up to the top of the pyramid. So you will see that like even like the small and cheap products we also sell, but up to the very premium one. We sell also very good. You can see in our platform, we have Estee Lauder, we have Coach, we have Coccinelle, uh, Fula, like kind of like premium brand as well. But when you look at Shopee, 
they only uh, eat up in the in the bottom one, like the mid to the low, right? You will see that Shopee when they claim about the performance is about orders. The support because they eat up a lot of the chunk here, right? So so it's um it's a uh, it's it's more like a friends that is a competitors, but but we treat them as a the, the business partner as well. Not not we not partner to them, but they mean like it's a it's a friendship that 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 we working right in the same industry. Right, but but the end goal is we try to unlock uh, potentials of any SME, right? And and it's just right now the situation is uh, we focus in a different segment. Lazada we try to trend to you know up from the base of the pyramid to the top, but Shopee they trend to uh, focusing on here. But now I, I would say they will see that in uh, ads and marketing right now they try to focus on the top, but uh, Lazada is quite like uh, forwards um, and then have like better propositions uh, versus them on that. And then how Lazada react to that or how we solve it. So um, the action we do is quite different. You will see Shopee, they also have a very flat kind of like the marketing that last year they hired Cristiano Ronaldo. It's very interesting. I would say like, it's quite exciting to me as well. Like, oh, okay, you hired Cristiano Ronaldo and even before they hired Blackpink, right? So it's very like fancy and it looks cool. But um, in, in, in Lazada, right, how we solve it, we continue our strategy. Right, so our strategy is we want to um, focus on the fundamentals. You can see that we have our own in-house logistic. We invest a lot on the Lazada Express, right? And also the, the sourcing center, the warehouse that we have, while Shopee don't really focus on that piece. So I think it's the difference of the focus and we strongly believe that if we build the whole ecosystem, right? Not just the marketing part, but we have the platform, the technology that we can serve, like when we scaled up and once the consumer have a lot higher, Right, we still can manage and provide a good service. Also, we can deliver the products like very smoothly and professionally. And then we have a good payment gateway. I think if this thing combined, the marketing is just like different things. And 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 I think if we continue to focus on this, it's a it's a it's a long term win that 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 we can you know uh, go against Shopee on that. Okay, thank you. Perfect. Maybe one question from uh, from my side is uh, related to uh, which, uh, uh, in your eyes, uh, which is the future of online? How do you see Lazada from here to, I don't know, in uh, five or uh, ten years? Uh, what we need to exploit and uh, what we need to do uh, to keep uh, developing this market, especially on digital channels? Okay. Um, if you are brands and you want to get, I, I would say you are new to the market. I would say um, the cheapest way for you to try on the market is on online, right? And uh, because like you don't need to, you know, get your products to be available anywhere, right? You don't need to list in, a lot of, uh, cut a lot of margin and get to 7-Eleven or Tesco, right? But you can just like pay only 5%, 2% payment. Right on Lazada, and then you I can we can deliver product to anywhere in the country for you, right? You just like uh, do some trial on like marketing, right, and then get the products available. So so that like I, I would recommend to most of the brands who want to try their business in in in, in Thailand, or even they can start from the offline like uh, like uh, uh, like shop in, in in Bangkok area. That's also possible. But I would say if you want to expand to across the country, uh, Lazada it could be the good place for them. And in terms of the, 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 the economic growth of the e-commerce, Thailand is still considered very small, right? Right now, we only contribute around 3% or 4% of the total retail business across the country. It gives you like maybe more comparison. Um, to US, US is about 16% e-commerce. Majority of them are, are Amazon, right? In, in China, it's 26%, right? Alibaba contribute 26% of the total retail business in China. So Lazada right now, we, and even include Shopee, we only do less than 4%. So we still have a lot of room to grow. And I don't think even in 10 years, I think like in four to five years, and especially because of the, 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 the situation like this, that like we have a pandemic right now, people tend to not going out so much. And then they, they already get used to purchase product online while the mall was closed like a couple months ago. So I think it's a it's a it's a it's exponential kind of like growth coming for for the online business, and they even see like we can get to ten to fifteen percent in like three to five years. Okay, thank you very much, Tom, for answering me uh, 
uh, to this uh, important question. Uh, we have another question from uh, Flora. Uh, uh, she asks, how do you see the prospective of European products so better Italian products, especially uh, artisan brand placement in La Sala? Uh, her name is uh, Flora Sila Hali, and uh, working in the Italian Chamber of Commerce for South, uh, Southeast Asia, I guess. Okay. Um, I, I would say it's no difference um, and it's not like distinguished between like Italian products or non-Italian products or any kind of product, right? So I think every kind of product, they, they, they have their own um, like strength, right? And of course, Italian products, I would say it's maybe niche for, for some people, right? But the good things about online is you can, you can uh, drive your, your, your uh, supply to someone who, who like to the demand uh, more 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 easier right you imagine if you get your italian products to tesco right you have to cut a lot of margin you have to put them to be on the shelf you have to you know prepare a lot of inventory to to get them on the shelf and you're not even sure that majority of the consumer will buy it right because if you want to do that, you have to invest a lot of marketing, get them to, you know, try, get them to use to that new things that they never used it before, right? So that's a little bit difficult. But if you're online, you know already who are your audience, right? You can analyze from that and then you can retarget on that audience, right? More easier and more, you know, more precise. So, so I think... Uh, 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 yeah, not not just Italian, but any of the European products. Um, if you if you know your audience, then you can you can segment. Or I, I would say when you work with Enabler, or even you partner with Facebook and Google, they will give you a lot of good uh, insight and and, and 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 share your expertise of how you can segment your your audience. So you have to most of the time we tell brand and brand we consult with them of okay, this is my audience. This is what I want to target to. It's their job to you know uh, in uh, like educate you and let you know of like oh this is how you segment your your audience and then eventually die traffic to your shop and then it's convert it's just it's just like that uh, okay perfect uh, i think uh, we can read the last question and i think we also arrived to one hour uh, duration of this of business in order to be successful is it necessary to spend for marketing on your platform or even without promotion i would say it's probably still possible uh, maybe you, you want to read it by your own uh, but uh, this is the question sure sure i can i can answer quickly on this it's, it's very simple i mean it's it's online and offline in terms of the how to do business is, is is similar right back back to offline world even right so you put the products on the shelf right, and you do no marketing at all, of course, there is no demand for your products and your product will not be sold. It's as simple as that, right? But if you put marketing on, on it can be outside of the platform or like anywhere to get to create the demand from the marketing perspective, right? Even your product is on the full price, it will sell, but it will not sell as much if without promotion because promotion is the things that can trigger the consumer to, you know, convert better. Right, so I think it's a combination that we, you need to balance up and, and even the strategy that your brand should do. So marketing is a fundamental up to create the demand of your products first, right? Because your product is new to the market. So get people to know about your product, get to create the demand. And then after that, then you, you, you link that demand and now it's online. So you can link from the demand that they see, oh, I like this. And then you have the link for them to, you know, be able to access right away. Or even you drive them to know first and then you can retarget them later on. Right, and, and you have the promotion to close the deal um, like eventually and generate the revenue for you. So it's linked in, in, in three uh, dots, I think. Okay, uh, wonderful, thank you very much. Uh, uh, maybe uh, one last, very last question from Mr. Santi. Uh, he asked, can you explain how last mall different from uh, JD.com are their pros and cons over the two platforms? Okay, last mall and JD Central. So um, I would say it's fundamentally quite similar, right? So um, JD dot JD Central, I would say JD Central. They are also selling 100% authentic CDs, but um, the, the 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 big difference right now is they have much lower in terms of traffic, right? And if it's lower traffic, meaning it's it's similar to 
you put the products in the mall that have less people, right? And last mall have higher traffic and thanks to um, the Lazada side and also the last global that because we have a huge assortment and we have a, a lot of sellers that's selling with us. So that also the part that we can have a lot of traffic, right? As a whole of the, 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 the Lazada platform. So I would say the big difference between the two is uh, one is the traffic the difference, right? In terms of the power, spending power, I would say it's more or less the same. And even the assortment for brands right now, I would say last more is much higher than JD.com. So I think that the key, the, 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 the key advantage that last more have. Okay. Uh, thank you very much, uh, both uh, Tom and uh, Eliseo. Maybe I would like to introduce you, Mr. Miguel Edomea, that has been with us uh, uh, during the whole session. He's the Secretary General. And Michele, would you like to say maybe a few words uh, to conclude uh, uh, this webinar? Uh, yes, absolutely. Thank you, Giacomo. Um, like approaching the conclusion, I would like to thank uh, Tom Yu and absolutely Eliseo of most for uh, bringing a so valuable speaker to us uh, this afternoon. And uh, thanking all of you, I would like also to invite you to follow our YouTube channel. Uh, within a couple of days, we will upload also the video of this webinar. So you can catch uh, something that maybe you lost during the presentation. And of course, uh, if Tom and Eliseo, uh, you are available to share your presentation, you just let us know and we will forward it to all the participants. But in the meantime, thank you very much, Kopu Makap. Uh, thank you, Eliseo, for arranging this uh, amazing webinar. My pleasure. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, guys. Thank, thank, you, thank you, everybody. everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Bye, -bye. Today, thank you, everyone. Uh, the webinar is concluded. Have a good day.